Himalayan cat versus Burman cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Himalayan, or Himi for short, is a Persian and Siamese drag, affectionate but discriminating. The Burman communicates in a soft voice, mainly to remind you that perhaps it's time for dinner or maybe for a nice cuddle on the sofa. In all respects but coat pattern, Himalayan shares the Persian sweet expression and soft round lines. It has a large, round head, large, round eyes, a short nose, full cheeks, and small ears with rounded tips. The head is supported by a short, thick neck and a deceptively sturdy, muscular body, a type known as kabi. A Himalayan's legs are short, thick, and strong with large, round, firm paws. The tail is short but proportional to the length of the cat's body. A long, thick, shiny coat with a fine texture completes the Himalayan's look. It's long all over the body and includes an immense ruff around the neck, a deep frill between the front legs, long ear, and toe tufts, and a full brush, or tail. Himalayan is bred in the following point colors, chocolate, seal, lilac, blue, red, cream torty, blue cream, chocolate torty, lilac cream, seal lynx, blue lynx, red lynx, cream lynx, torty lynx, blue cream lynx, chocolate lynx, lilac lynx, chocolate torty lynx, and lilac cream lynx. The body is various shades of white to fawn with color only on the facial mask and the feet, ears, and tail. Unlike the Persian and the exotic, the Himalayan's eyes come in only one color, a deep, vivid blue. Himalayans come in different looks, known as extreme and traditional. Extreme Himalayans, those seen in the show ring, have a flatter face, which may come with breathing problems. Cats with a traditional look have a more old-fashioned appearance, with a face that is not as flat and a nose that is set lower on the face with more of a break, permitting easier breathing. They are registered by the traditional cat association. Vermin has a silky, medium-length coat and the pointed pattern of the Siamese, meaning that the color is darker on the face, ears, legs, and tail, a broad, rounded head topped with medium-sized ears, bright blue eyes that give him a sweet expression, and four white feet that give him the appearance of wearing little white mittens. This is a medium-sized to large cat with a stocky, powerful body that belies his gentle demeanor. The medium long to long coat has a silky texture and little undercoat, which means that it rarely mats. It forms a heavy ruff around the neck and is wavy on the belly. A pale body, which varies in shade depending on the cat's color, is set off by darker points. For instance, a seal point Burman has a body that is a pale fawn to cream color with a warm tone, gradually shading to a lighter color on the belly and chest. The points are a deep seal brown. On the front and back paws are white gloves ending in an even line across the paw. On the back paws, the gloves extend up the back of the leg and end in a point or an inverted V-shape. In the show ring, the symmetry of the gloves and laces is an important factor and may mean the difference between a kitten going on to a career as a show cat or as a pet. Besides seal point, Burmans come in blue point, chocolate point, lilac point, and various party color point and lynx point colors. Lynx point Burmans have a clearly defined M marking on the forehead, light markings that resemble eyeglasses around the eyes, spotted whisker pads, solid colored ears with no stripes, and thumb marks on the back of the ears. The legs and tail have stripes and rings. Like the Persian, the Himalayan is sweet, docile, and quiet. She is an ornament to any home where she can enjoy sitting in a lap, surely her rightful place, being petted by those who are discerning enough to recognize her superior qualities, and playing house with kind children who will gently comb her hair, will her around in a baby buggy, let her chase an interactive toy, then serve her tea at their parties. Himalayans are affectionate but discriminating. They reserve their attention for family members and those few guests whom they feel they can trust. Loud environments aren't a Himalayan style, they are sedate cats who prefer a serene home where little changes from day to day. With large, expressive eyes and a voice that has been described as soft, pleasant, and musical, Himis let their simple needs be known, regular meals, a little playtime with a catnip mouse or feather teaser, and lots of love, which they return tenfold. This is one cat who is unlikely to climb up your curtains, jump on your kitchen counters, or perch on top of your refrigerator. She is perfectly happy to rule her domain from the floor or more accessible pieces of furniture. When you are at work or are busy around the house, the Himalayan is content to adorn a chair, sofa, or bed until you are free to admire her and give her the attention she willingly receives but never demands. If you like the pointed pattern of the Siamese but not the Yali voice, a Burman might be the cat for you. He is a docile, quiet cat who loves people and will follow them from room to room. Expect the Burman to want to be involved in what you're doing, and be grateful that he's not as bossy as the Siamese. Burman is a smart cat and, of course, curious. He likes to explore his environment, and has been known to get trapped underneath floors that are being replaced or to accidentally go for a ride on top of a car. 
it's a good idea to always keep tabs on where he is. He communicates in a soft voice, mainly to remind you that perhaps it's time for dinner or maybe for a nice cuddle on the sofa. He enjoys being held and will relax in his arms like a furry baby. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The most important thing to understand about caring for a Himalayan is the need for daily grooming. That long, beautiful coat doesn't stay clean and tangle-free on its own. It must be gently but thoroughly combed every day, and regular bathing, at least once a month, is a good idea. Despite the length of the Burman's coat, it has a silky texture that doesn't mat easily. Comb it weekly to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Burmans shed their winter coat in the spring, so you may want to comb more frequently than to remove loose hair. A warm bath can also help to loosen and remove the shedding coat. To accomplish a Burman bath, wetting the cat with a handheld shower nozzle is often preferable to immersing him in a tub of water. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a clean litter box will help to keep the coat clean as well. It's a good idea to keep Himalayan and Burman as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Himalayans and Burmans who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. Himalayans aren't the best choice for a houseful of boisterous children and dogs, but they have no objection to being the object of a gentle child's attention or to rubbing along with a friendly dog who doesn't chase them or otherwise cause them anxiety. The friendly, laid-back Burman is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect, and he doesn't mind playing dress-up or going for a ride in a baby buggy. He is happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.